Good readings, fellow Carbonauts! Nerdy Spaceman here, in for yet another episode of A Beginner's Guide to Kerbal Space Program. In this episode, we're going to build our science lab and our new lander, and we're going to discuss exactly what's, what the plan is for gathering science and using the science lab and everything, so I'll try to be as you know accurate and concise as possible. First things first, advanced exploration is where the mobile processing lab is. It's like a space lab, collect science, put it into it, it creates even more science and you transmit it back. So that's perfect. There we go. And what we're gonna need for it as well is the electronics because it's gonna unlock the really big dish. It actually transmits a, a whole bunch of data all at once. So that's awesome. And lucky us, it also comes with an extra science experiment which is awesome because can't go wrong with more science experiments. There it is, and that's the last of our science. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna try to recycle the the, the lander that we build, or not the, the docking craft, the, the Landsmark three. It was a uh, the, the guy that we docked with. So I'm gonna go ahead and recycle him. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get rid of a whole bunch of stuff that we don't need. So get rid of this docking port and the science that goes with it. As well as the science bay and the parachutes, we don't need those either. Um, we don't need these uh, monopropellant because we're going to get a bigger one. The lights we'll need because we need to be able to dock. Um, the solar panels we'll need. And then we guess, I guess we'll get rid of this SAS because we'll have bigger SAS units. So first things first, we need a little bit more RCS fuel. There we go. Get this RCS fuel. And then we can immediately slap on the docking bay and get two of each of the lights installed. There we go. Now we got two of, you know what, let me change them around. Oops. Um, I want, oops, I want them this way. There we go. Don't ask me why, I don't know. I just felt like spicing them up. There we go. I want a different, there we go. So, we're gonna do that, and we don't need this, so I'm gonna move this out of the, we don't need the, the decoupler, there's no need for that, and there's no need for the heat shield because this thing is not coming back. Now we're going to go to the structural part of this. We're going to get the other Rockomex brand adapter, the tall one, because I need as much surface area as possible. The reason I need the surface area is because I need a lot of electricity. The science lab consumes a whole bunch of electricity, so I'm going to put that like 16 batteries just a whole bunch of batteries which is awesome and what I'm gonna do then is I'm gonna add a control unit and the science lab which is a pretty hefty piece of uh, equipment but this is it's it's big for a reason it's awesome it's really cool so anyways so I've got the juice I've got that uh, now I'm gonna go ahead and check to see how my center of mass for my RCS is doing I don't need these huge ones. I'm going to get the little ones. There we go. Just because I want to keep them small. There's no need to go overboard because I'm going to have two sets of these. So I'm going to go ahead and put them down here and down here because as I burn fuel, this is going to be up there. But I'm going to assume it's about halfway when I get into orbit, so something like that. So I think that's about right. I'm going to put four of these here. And for these here, there we go. So we've got plenty of control. All right, let's top off my fuel tank now. Perfect, excellent. So RCS is taken care of. Now all these batteries, we're gonna need them all. So we're gonna need extra electricity charging stuff. So we're gonna need extra of these solar panels. Just fine by me. I'm gonna get the other shape because I don't need the skinny shape. I kind of want the other shape because we've got room. We got this huge area, so we've got room to do that. I'm going to add four here, and then I'm going to add four over here. So we got them staggered up a little bit, so we've got more of them exposed regardless of where we're pointing. And none of them line up so that they're in direct shadow of the other one. Cause that's that's key. Like they, The shadows actually do affect your solar panels, so you want to spread them out evenly across your craft to get the most effectiveness out of them. And in this case, to be super duper effective, you point the craft at the sun, and all of them will come out and they'll all be pointing. So that's good. And then we'll also grab these radiators and we'll put them down here to try to keep this whole system cool. And we added two more, so that's it's not bad. Not bad at all. 
actually. Hold on. Yeah. Didn't alt click these. I was missing this. All right. So that's good. I like it. I like it a lot. Now to transmit the science, we're gonna need antennas, and this is the communitron. This is the big one, and it looks small now. But you'll see when I right click on it, see it looks pretty tiny, but when you right click and extend, you'll see that it's actually pretty huge. Look at that, it's it's really big, so that's good. It's also the most powerful antenna that we have unlocked so far. This is another one, and it's kind of cool too. Um, it, it opens up and it folds itself out. That's kind of cute, but it's not as powerful. It doesn't transmit as much science. You can see here when you right click, the data transmit size, it's like... 0.7 per second. This one's like point. Oh, actually, this one's more. Look at that. This transmits more science per second. This one uses more electricity. That's weird. Why? Why would this one be better? Hmm. That's strange. I guess the bigger one isn't as good as this one over here. Well, look at that. I think we just got ourselves an upgrade. Alright, I'll get two of these over here. And see how this folds out. No. No, see, they cover up my solar panels. No, I like this big one. I'm gonna stick with the big one here. I don't care if it's not as good. I just got it. You're not gonna kill my mood. <laughs> Alright, so, this is good so far. Now, I wanna show you something that's actually super convenient. It's called the Action Groups tab. It's, here's the parts. It's going to be under Action Groups. And it's got a whole bunch of stuff here. And this is stuff that lets you, they're hotkeys essentially, like built into hotkeys. So the custom 1 through 10, um, these are these match the keyboard numbers. So 1 is 1, 2 is 2, 3 is 3 on the keyboard above the QWERTY stuff, you know, right there. Um, and 10 would be 0. So right there, it just gives you a whole list of hotkeys. When you click on 1, and you click on something else, like for example, the little photovoltaic panels here, you can say toggle panels, or extend panels, or retract panels, whichever one you want, it doesn't really matter. So I'm going to do toggle because that's, you know, if it's open it closes, if it's closed it opens, so it just toggles. And I'm going to click for those, I'm going to click for the radiator panels, and I'm going to click for the other photovoltaics. So what happens now is when I push the one key, it opens off all of these things here and then when I push it again it'll close everything so it's a super nifty convenient way of controlling all this stuff without having to single-handedly one by one right click open right click open you know for all of them which can be a real hassle so definitely saves us a whole bunch of work so that's that's good I like that I go I'm actually really happy with this right now cool 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 I'm gonna go ahead and oh, oh. Go to parts, you can't move stuff. There it is. I'm going to go ahead and attach this here. And here's our rocket. It's Again, we don't need to actually come back from where we're going. We just need to get to orbit. Um, I think I'm going to add a little bit more fuel because we did add a lot of mass, but in this engine can totally handle it. Okay, I can't reach. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab this and just uh, shimmy my way up. There we go. And then we're gonna attach it. That's still, geez, still not. Oh my god, this is a tall rocket. There we go. Cool. Thank goodness for struts. If you notice, these automatically attach to everything. It's because the way I built them. I built them from the bottom up, so it's really cool the way it works. If you watch my previous videos, you'll see how I did it. But um, yeah, that's that's gonna be good. I'm gonna call this the science lab. There it is. Save that. And this is good. This is awesome. I'm really happy with it. Now we're going to go back to the Landsmark 3, which was what we used before. I'm going to keep pretty much all of this the same, except we've got a new science experiment, so we're definitely going to get that. Um, okay. Flip it over so we can see it. And there it is. Cool. So we got a brand new experiment. Great. I'm going to go to the action groups and I'm going to set these panels and radiators to an action group. There we go. 
That's what we just did. This is all the same. I'm actually going to go ahead and add legs on this because, you know, being able to land, you're going to need some legs. Alright, we're going to need four of them because I don't think we need extra legs. We're good enough at landing now that we don't need the extra legs. There we go. Make sure these are pointing the right way. Oops. Yep, there it is. They're pointing the right way. And we're going to need tons of fuel because this is... So this is going to have to be able to get. So this was enough fuel to get us to dock, but we need enough fuel to get to the moon and back. So I'm going to move these I guess, out of the way. And since we don't, this is these engines are really powerful. The, the, the new engine is extremely powerful. I don't think I'll need an asparagus staging. I think I'll just need onion staging. I think that's going to be just fine to get to the moon and land. I mean that's what we used before. We used onion staging for that. This is going to be a much more powerful rocket because why not bigger boosters? Yeah. Okay, there we go. Big boosters. We'll go ahead and throw one of these and one of these just because why not? We need extra burn time. Because if we don't add us extra weight, um, we're going to be moving way too fast and that's not healthy. <laughs> um, let's add some fins onto this. Okay. Super duper. Cool. Alright, let's strut this thing up because we want to be nice and sturdy. And conveniently enough for us, we got ourselves these little securing things. There it is. Look at that. I love that. Love it so much. Alright. Another one of the rocket comes together neatly. Okay, get down here. Oh, excuse me. There we go. And there we go. Nice. Very neat. Secured. Everything's attached nice and strong. We'll get some fuel ducts in here because we need that for the onion staging. Cool. I like it. Go ahead and throw some of these here. And we gotta fix our staging. So you go down here. You here. Same with you. And the bottom engine. So it looks like all of our little holdy thingies all the engines go off and then it's regular staging from then on out. Cool. I like it a lot. Excellent. Nice and strong. Good job. Alright, this is going to be the Onyx Mark II. Onyx Mark II. Go ahead and save. And that's awesome. I think we're good to go. Let me, let me just shimmy this up a bit. There it is. I don't want to have my engines clipping through the floor. Ooh, ooh, I almost forgot. Look at that. I almost forget these little things. Okay, lights. Can't go wrong with lights. we are going to be able to see the floor. Also, I like to use them as radar. Like, LIDAR. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> I entertain myself. I'm easily amused. Okay, so here's our rocket. We've got the docking port. And what we're going to do is we're going to launch a science lab, park it in orbit, leave it there, go back, launch one of these landers, Go over to the moon, land, collect a whole bunch of science, lift off, dock with the science lab, transfer over the science, and then begin researching it and fly back. And then we'll do the same thing with Minmus. We'll launch another science lab all the way out to Minmus, and then all the way, you know, we're going to launch another one of these landers, land on Minmus, collect science, dock with the um, science lab around Minmus, do start researching science and then fly back and then these stations they take a while to research all that science so then we could just leave them there so it's pretty much we collect the science once we'll probably end up transmitting some of it back too because of a hundred percent transmit rate some stuff has a hundred percent transmit rate so that's super convenient for us we'll be able to transfer so at least we get some you know immediate benefit from landing on the moon it's not just zero because when you're putting it in the science you don't actually get to keep it you sort of temporarily don't have access to it but um, that's okay because we'll we'll research the data once it's researched. We'll bring it back, so we'll have a delayed but bonus science. So we'll get a little bit less than we normally would, but after after a while we'll get bonus. So we'll be able to focus on doing other cool things like airplanes. That'll be fun. Um, can show you guys how to build airplanes. Um, there's also other things we can do like possibly flying to another planet because we haven't done that yet. 
Um, there's also asteroids and stuff. So we'll see what we can do. But while we're doing all that fun stuff, it'll be researching science constantly. It'll be just as time goes by, it's just adding more and more science. And that's awesome. And all we have to do is check up on it every now and then to make sure they're still researching. So yeah, that's good. I'm going to go ahead and uh, call it a video. It's been running for 15 minutes, so we should be good to go. So yeah, I'll see you in the next one. I'll be launching Science Labs and stuff. So I'll see you in the next episode. This has been Nerdy Spaceman. Stay safe and fly far.